So uh, on this, uh, you, may have, uh, you may have received these Dropbox links. I sent them to everybody who's on. And, um, and then I'll renew that once uh, we get everybody on. But this is a, oh, it's a new version, good. So <clears throat> this is an app called Fourscore, F-O-R score. And uh, it looks like this one. It's got a little scribble on it. Uh, and that's my son with his cat. Um, so um, <clears throat> what happens here is that anything you put in there, like I take pictures sometimes of pieces I'm working on. Uh, and uh, then the page turns can, do, can go like this. Uh, this is a half page so that when I get down to the bottom of this, I can look up and go automatically there to the next page. It's kind of convenient. Um, and it works on any kind of, uh, any kind of tablet device uh, for music making. Now that we're all distance learning, um, uh, and if you don't necessarily have uh, access to a printer, a uh, printer I think is kind of the best thing. And I still use it quite a lot for making, uh, making parts uh, and making performance parts this way. So uh, this is something that I taped in uh, so that I wouldn't have to do a page turn uh, as, as, uh, as difficultly. So like for instance, this comes out to here. I can actually start the whole piece here and then go all the way to this movement, to movement uh, three, the end of movement three on, and then I just flip the page, one page, and then I have four pages out to here to get all the way to variation six. Actually, I'd probably do it all the way, at, all the way here to the bottom. But anyway, you get it on a music stand like this, and this is how we do uh, analog parts. So we, I have this original part here, and so that I can make it into, into a performance part, I will, um, I will uh, make copies under fair use of this part and then, or excuse me, of this page and then tape it in with, with that page, uh, you know, so that, so that it's an extension, okay? Um, you should buy parts and you can get them through Sheet Music Plus and JW Pepper. Uh, the best place to find the Braval Sonata that I got that I sent you is actually in the Suzuki Book Four, and it's got a great version of that um, because it's got great fingerings and great um, uh, great uh, uh, bowings, and uh, it's really kind of it fixes all of the problems in it. Uh, but that's the piece that we're gonna sort of work from, uh, and I'd like to sort of introduce it to you. We worked on it, uh, I think, about two weeks ago, a little bit. But I'd like everybody to be able to play it and uh, play it well. Um, and uh, a few of you who are taking lessons, uh, well, one of you is taking lessons is working on this specific piece. So you're probably going to be one of the leaders in it. Um, and we'll, we'll hit it off and on. <clears throat> um, so within four score, for instance, I might find myself um, with this piece of music as well. And then just working on, uh, working on, um, uh, Working, on, work, working with a, a foot pedal to turn my pages. Anytime I want to write, I just sort of come over here and, and I write. Oh, why is it writing? Oh, must be not plugged in. I bet the uh, pen is all crazy. Dun, 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 dun. So in just a moment, we will get ourselves worked into cello playing, but I wanted to sort of give you some resources. Ah, the pen is at 1%. I'm going to leave it, leave it on over here. All right, with that, and I'll show you some tricks uh, later on in the class. Uh, with that, let's get to playing. Here is an A. Users, 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 participants. There we go. Okay, I'm going to mute everybody so you can hear. Okay, here we go. Yeah. 
ですよ。So, uh, what kinds of things have you been working on with the cello uh, this uh, this last day? Anybody do some really crazy wild things? You want to share? Any of you play for grandma? Any of you play for uh, family or on, or on a video conference like this? Oh, good. All right, we got some people. Yeah, that's great. I'm glad to, I'm glad to hear it. Um, uh, no doubt, no doubt you've probably built up a lot of skills uh, playing all over the fingerboard, and so that's kind of exciting. Um, so uh, let's go. Uh, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm super excited that you're, that you're using, your, using your cello, uh, cello and, and making music uh, to do things. That's better than just watching uh, TikTok all day, right? No, nobody here watches TikTok. I know, I know. Okay, so um, so let's go over here to the uh, scale. Do, 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 do. I'm going to share a little something. Oops. There we go. Here's that page. Sharing out. Okay, and then uh, we're going to hit page two. Uh -huh. B flat major. Oh, that's two octaves. Page 12. There we go. A B flat major. Okay, good. And then uh, just to make this thing a little smaller. All right, so we're going to start right over here at the top of the page. Everybody see that one? Oh, yeah, okay, good. B flat. Here we go. One, two. We'll go about this fast. Bum, 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 and two. Start this one over again. Now that now, now that we've got this one going, everybody on the beat on the low B flat second finger and good C four G B flat or E flat F G open A B flat one C two D four e, uh, D D one excuse me. E flat one two F four G one A two B flat three C one D two E flat one F two G one second line A two and B flat three coming back down A two G one F two B e flat one D two C one B e flat three A two G one F four B e flat two D one uh, C two B e flat one F2, E flat one, D open, C four, and B flat two. Good. All right. Unmute y'all. Now, would anybody like to play it? You get extra points, and all of the all of the uh, uh, the love and uh, appreciation and admiration of your colleagues. And who wants to try it with me? Yeah? I'm going to bring you back. Anybody want to try it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's speed it up. Uh, do, you have, uh, do you have the ability to play it, or should I go back to screen share? Screen share? Or you got it? 
Huh? I got it. I got it. Okay, anybody else? All right, let's play this thing. Ready? You can watch the fingers. And let's speed it up a little bit. Bum, bum, bum. Here we go. And. <laughs> to pull the string back um, with your hand. Now look at where my thumb is. Somebody take a look at the, where my thumb is. How is it that I'm able to hold a string to the fingerboard without using my thumb? What do, what do I have to do there? Have any of you tried this? Yeah. I'm actually pulling this back, okay? And what that does is I'm using my, my back muscles and I'm using my arm. I'm essentially pulling like a door or a bow and arrow back, 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 back. And the string then bends. It's kind of crazy. We choose, uh, we choose steel strings because they're so bendable. When you think about steel, it's like, uh, that is not the first thing I think of when I think of steel is that it's super flexible. But, but uh, steel strings are really quite, quite bendable and flexible. Uh, like a like a paper clip, and what we're doing is we're actually just bending and lengthening the string uh, when we press it down. Okay, so it's a little bit higher than it would be normally. Like you have to sort of move back a little bit to be in tune. Of course, we automatically fix that with our ears. Good job. Okay, and uh, and I'm using my whole arm to to pull the string back. Okay, so as we play this uh, B flat, take your Take your B flat here, and and just be cognizant of your B of your um, thumb and where that is. Good. All right. Now, uh, if we were to play up here, we necessarily have to use the weight of our arm to push the string down to uh, hold the string down, right? So anywhere up here on any one of the strings, you just kind of like press down. And it becomes obvious, you know, that we need to do this here as well when we're playing so that we can maintain the same kind of relationship with our arm onto the fingers, okay? So if you can do this, if you can, if you can press down up here on anywhere on the fingerboard up here, then pressing down over here is pretty small potatoes. Mm -hmm. And we want to have that same kind of freedom. Now, the other, the one thing that I do see is that the first time that, that young cellists take their thumb away from the fingerboard, they really pull it away. And so what happens is you see, for instance, like a thumb sticking out over here, for instance, and that's tension. Or for instance, you're playing up here and the thumb is sticking up, ready to, ready to hitchhike somewhere down the road. Say, hey, I'm tired of sheltering in place. Give me a ride, right? Um, and uh, what we'd really like to see is that thumb just relax. If, it, if you can, gravity will pull it down towards the ground and it takes muscle and energy to sort of lift it up. And I wonder if you could take that thumb and lift it and then just relax it and drop it down. Good. And, and that, that makes it the most relaxed part of the, of the, um, of the uh, a relaxed position for it to be in. Okay, so now you can just sort of move around and get that, okay? Now, um, when we go over to the arpeggio, we're actually going to use the thumb structurally to get up there. So I'm going to uh, uh, flip over to that. Mm -hmm. Here are 
the three octave major scales. And here is this one. Good. All right, so we're going with the uh, very top one. Those of you who uh, downloaded the uh, my little Dropbox uh, link will have this on page 18. And uh, you can use that. And uh, here is the here is the uh, desktop version so you can see it. Okay. And uh, so we're going to start over here at this B flat over here. We're going to use this thumb on this B flat uh, on the A string to uh, get ourselves up and uh, over. Let me uh, just drag this little window down over here. There we go. You should be able to show grid view, show thumbnail view. Oh, I wonder, wonder what I can do here. Nope. 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 I want. Oh, wait. Oh, wrong person, though. Hold on a second. I got a plan. There we go. I want participants and I'm going to mute everybody. Yes. All right. And now it should just be me, right? Come on, me. There's me. I want this one. This is going to take just a second as I figure out the Zoom. Ready? Uh -huh. Pin video. Yes. Okay. This is going to come in handy. All right, everybody. Oh, that's as big as it gets. Okay, great. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to play this B flat, which is right over here. Do, 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 do. Okay. And let's play it. Ready? And. Oh, I'm going to unmute you all just for fun, just so we can hear everybody. Okay, ready? And same spot. And. Good. Open D. F. B flat. D one. Four. Now I'm going to go up. Yeah. And I want to have everybody on that with my with their thumb hanging out. And it should be this note. I hear, I hear somebody. I hear somebody continuing to play an F, which is right here, but I need this B flat. Gotta go higher. Uh -huh. Keep going. I hear it. Keep going. Keep going higher. I want to hear it. Yeah, there's the sound. Now we're talking. All right, so here it is. Here's the first finger, uh, thumb B flat. First finger D. Second finger F. Good, and third finger B flat. And this is what it should look like. Some people doing it right. <laughs> and the, the notes we're playing are all these right here. All these, yeah. So let's go from the highest B flat. Hold on, everybody. Hold on, everybody. Hold on, everybody. Hold on, everybody. So let's get that highest B flat. Yeah. And that's way up here. Now we're going to go to second finger F. D. And B flat. Then I'm going to go back here to this fourth finger F. There's a good F. Now D and B flat. Uh huh. F. Open D and B flat. Good. Now follow along. I'm going to.
gonna mute everybody and uh, follow along. And uh, we're, I'm gonna play this real slow. We're gonna start right over here at this B flat and I'm gonna call them out. Ready? B flat. D two. F two. B flat one. Shifting up to third position, D one. F four. Thumb two. Uh, B, uh, D1, F2, and B flat, uh, 3, and F2, D1, B flat, good, F4, uh, D1, B flat 1, F2, Theoretically, going from all the way up like this. And you can do a pizzicato. Okay, and, uh, and there's finding your way Find your way through that is is super cool. Okay, I'm gonna unmute everybody. And I'm going to uh, bring y'all back. All right, so uh, good job everybody. So now let's uh, let's make sure that our vibratos are just killing today. Everybody, first off. Let's do it high. Now let's pound on the seat. Ow, oh, on our knees. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Good. And then let's pound on the fingerboard. Do, 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 do. Okay. Now, notice how you're all excellently using your arm to get around. Up in the air, down on your knees, up high, down low, out to the side. Mm -hmm. Okay. We want that same kind of motion over here. Now let's do an open D. Keeping the motion going. Uh huh. Yeah. Then I'm gonna take all these fingers and I'm gonna wiggle them. Okay. Now here we go. Fourth finger, all four fingers down on the D string and. And then take it away. And then bring it out. This is great. And then back in. Now what this means is that you can do vibrato on any finger. So everybody, let's slide on four. Now let's do, slide on three. Slide on two. Good. Slide on one. Yeah. Now let's do this. Let's do this over on the C string. Let's try four. Good. Slide on three. Oh, now. Oh, here's one thing. Here's one thing, everybody. So the, uh, the, uh, uh, your cello has to be really steady on your knees, on the floor, and on your chest. There are four points where it uh, interacts with you, okay? So uh, for this to be steady here means that your arms can be free and that you can just move around like that. So, uh, and also then playing on the C string requires that your elbow go just a little bit higher. Check this out. Here I'm playing on the A string, do, 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 do. moving over to the D, moving over to the G and moving over to the C. In order to keep my wrist, in order to keep my wrist straight. Yeah, this is good. Excellent. Now let's try that on C string. Elbow's pretty high. I wanna see a nice high elbow. Yeah, there we go. Be able to miss everything. Good, this is all four fingers down. Now let's go three. One, two, three. One, two. Good. One. Okay. Good. 
good. Now, those of you who are looking at the uh, at the PDF of the Braval Sonata that I saw, I'd like to make sure that um, you can do this. Now, that's at the end of the first line. And uh, it's a G with an F with a trill. And then there's two an E and an F. And what I'm doing is I'm doing five notes. Uh, actually, I'm doing seven notes. I'm going da 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eighth note is the E. Try that. Da 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 da. Go for it. Ooh, that's good. Now later on, about line three. Actually, let me just check that out. See if that's uh, see if that's actually true. On line three, oops, preview. Where's my little ball? There we go. <clears throat> okay, so uh, oh yeah, on line four, the beginning of line four, it's a down bow. It's a down bow trill going to B. Uh, let me just uh, show you what that is, just for a second. Okay, here is. I'm going to share that up. And uh, here is that measure right there. Now it's got a trill on here. I usually do one or two trills up to the next note in the key, which is C up to D. Okay, so it's going to sound, and let me uh, just make the uh, video just a little bit bigger. Okay, it's going to look kind of like this. Try that. It's uh, specifically right over, uh, right over here. Do, 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 do. That part right there. Yeah. Good. Now the next part is uh, right above my little screen. Is this uh, is this uh, G right here followed by triplets? And this should sound like this. Oh, the music, uh, music uh, continues. Good. I hear some good triplets on that. What I would like to see is boom. now that that quarter note right there takes takes as much time as these three notes. This is a quarter note value. Here's a quarter note value, and here's a quarter note value. That's why they're all marked together. And the triplets means that there are three instead of two. Okay, so we want to play this one. Make sure that that is a, a full quarter. Two, three, four. Let's try that, everybody. One, two. Here we go. Yeah. One more time. One, two, three, four. Outstanding. That's totally great. All right, so uh, I'm going to bring you back into the leg class. Yeah. Nice job. So we've done a little bit of vibrato. We did some B flat. We did the arpeggios going up like this. And uh, y'all sound good. Have a great day. Play for lots of people. Make a lot of noise. Make a lot of music. Y'all rock. Take care. See you tomorrow. Oh, and it's been it's been a whole month. It's been 28 days that we have done this class. Uh, are you doing uh, classes for spring break? Yeah, I'll be around. Because uh, I'm actually in school. Oh, I forgot. Everything's going to move to 9 o'clock in the mornings from 10. So you got to get up an hour earlier. Sorry. So 9 a.m. Uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll send this out. I'll send an email out and I'll update the website. 9 a.m. starting on Monday. Sorry, everybody. All right. Take care. Bye.